we're in the middle of a complex and destructive phase full of unknowns. Amidst this chaotic phase, it's impossible to predict, even the near future. The best we can do is, form a hypothesis, and orient our actions around it. Today I'm going to lay out my process and conclusions. I hope that they will be as useful to you as they have been to me. We've been taught that assumptions are bad. They make an ass out of you and me. But, that's not always true. I developed a set of assumptions about the future, to build a framework of understanding. I use that framework to identify what is in my control and what is not in my control. The things outside our control, we can stop worrying about. They're not up to us. Instead, our concern is what is in our control, and all our energy and resources should be dedicated there. Before I get to the assumptions I'm operating under, let me say, they are assumptions, not predictions. I could be wrong. Hell, I hope I'm wrong. But with nearly three years of the Great Reset under our belt, I bet you'll agree, they have merit. None of this should be taken as a black pill. No problem can be solved without sober identification and acceptance. Of the nature of the challenge. That's all we're doing here. With that in mind, here are the 11 assumptions I'm using today to guide my actions. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. 1. Less freedom of movement. We'll experience increased limitations on our freedom to move around. There's a growing effort to impose restrictions and regulations on our mobility, ranging from passports to stricter visa requirements, and the development of 15-minute city initiatives. These measures collectively form a system aimed at controlling our ability to travel. 2. A CBDC is coming. The introduction of a central bank digital currency is imminent, which could lead to the elimination of physical cash. While the extent of its restrictions remains uncertain, the adoption of CBDC is a certainty. As for timing, the Bank for International Settlements, or BIS, has projected that there will be around 14 retail CBDCs and 9 wholesale CBDCs by 2030. Additionally, there are signs that major economies are actively preparing to implement CBDCs as early as 2025. 3. The digital ID is already here. Digital identification is already in place, and biometrics are poised to become the future standard. If you possess a government-issued ID linked to your photograph, you're already part of the system. The key question revolves around how this digital ID will be utilized and enforced. 4. GFC 2.0 and or the Greater Depression We might be headed for what some call GFC 2.0, or even a scenario resembling the Greater Depression. Pinpointing the exact timing is challenging. However, it's difficult to envision a scenario where such an outcome can be completely avoided. Simon Hunt suggests that we could witness a market decline of up to 30% between now and early 2024, followed by a surge and then a deflationary crash in 2025. 5. Most of my financial assets will disappear at some point. It's a sobering thought, but it's possible that a significant portion of my financial assets will vanish at some point. Whether it's due to inflation, bank bail-ins, a market collapse, or some unforeseen event, I can't specify the cause, but I'm leaning towards the idea that tangible assets are where I should ultimately focus. 6. Increasing crime and disorder. The rise in crime and disorder is evident, as you may have seen in various videos. Whether driven by economic hardship, mass migration, a breakdown in law and order, or under the guise of social justice, crime and disorder are on the upswing. This poses a growing physical threat to our lives and property from our fellow citizens. Consequently, urban environments, though not exclusively, are particularly susceptible to this risk. 7. Supply constraints are increasing around all commodities, from food to energy. 
Supply limitations are on the rise across the board, affecting everything from food to energy. Shortages are becoming increasingly evident. For instance, live cattle, which have been quiet for a while, recently reached an all-time high in prices. Oil prices have surged by 30% in just the last three months. Additionally, approximately 40% of Argentina's wheat crop is in poor to fair condition, and protectionist policies are gaining ground globally. 8. WW3 is coming. The prospect of a World War III looms on the horizon, and one could argue that it might have already commenced. A recent study from the Army War College suggests that the all-volunteer force has reached the end of its effective lifespan. With military recruitment facing challenges, conscription may become necessary at some point. 9. Censorship and digital control will enter a new phase. Deplatforming, debanking, shadow banning, and social media account suspensions will increase. Centralized digital services of all kinds should be considered suspect and, very likely, dangerous to use in the future. UN chief calls disinformation a clear and present global threat. 10. The upcoming US election, no matter how it turns out, represents a pivotal moment that could also become a source of tension. It's possible that half of the nation may refuse to accept the outcome, and there have been public and private discussions, suggesting that a 2024 election might not even take place. While the specifics remain uncertain, one thing we can be sure of is that leading up to and following the election, things could become quite chaotic. Before the 2020 election, we had to contend with CV-19 and the BLM movement. Shortly thereafter, we witnessed events like January 6. What lies ahead for 2024 is anyone's guess. 11. We are currently in the midst of a conflict, a war that's targeting us, the people. The primary arena for this battle is in the realm of 5GW, which encompasses information and psychology. Where I've been mistaken in the past three years is in assuming that physical force would be employed. As we can see, significant progress has been made in advancing the Great Reset without resorting to physical tactics. For most of this phase, they will likely continue with the same approach. However, if and when we observe a shift towards the use of physical force, we should be deeply concerned, as it would signify a new and more perilous stage in this conflict. Do you disagree with any of my assumptions? Did I miss anything? Let me know. I see all of the assumptions as out of my control. They may not come to pass, but whether they do or not, is not up to me. Of course, I'll continue to speak out against them. If enough of us do, it may help. Possibly. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.